Year Pro of the Year and Bay Julie Awards from the USPTA. So without further ado, let's give a nice round of applause to Chip Fazio. Thanks for having me, guys. Great, great, you guys have a great turnout, so I'm really impressed, so good for you. Um, so this is uh, Half These Kids came straight off the couch, how to get novice athletes in the game. Um, we must meet our athletes where they are. We must understand where they are in their athletic development. Um, they may come into high school sports. Some of them will come into high school sports without the base of the pyramid athletic skills that we maybe take for granted. These are the kids that I don't want to lose. The kids that have somehow made it to high school without doing a lot of activity. Um, they're probably getting in there out of their comfort zone by just walking out to the court. So these are the kids that I definitely want to make sure I, you know, fall in love with being active and fall in love with tennis. Um, yeah, all right. So this workshop is also going to work on entry-level athletes and also if you have a large team to maximize the number of hits, the number of reps they get, and to minimize the um, standing in line. All right, are you guys okay? Can you guys hear me? Yeah? All right, thank you. All right, so a little closer. A little closer. All right. Uh, yeah, just raise your hand if you can't hear me. I'll try to not bangle around too much. All right, so first thing, first day of practice, we're going to get into competition. We're going to play some points. Um, and we're going to play some elephant ball. So I'm going to borrow your partner for a minute. Just stand up. Thank you. All right, so elephant ball, and you're going to make an elephant throw. It looks just like this. Sideways, elephant trunk to elephant ears. And he's going to elephant throw it to me. Yep. And I'm going to try to get it to my partner. One bounce, belly button hop. Okay, so this is a really base of the pyramid athletic skill. Um, find a sport that doesn't have shoulder turn, uh, kinetic chain, you know, ground force, and trunk rotation. Right, so it comes up in every sport. Uh, so I'm going to give you that. So the perfect elephant throw would go a little over head high, and your partner would catch it belly button height. So I'm going to have you guys do some elephant throws. Tell them when you get to 10. Okay, first team to 10. Ready, set, go. Got to catch it on one bounce for it to count. Okay, so we worked on shoulder turn, trunk rotation, kinetic chain, low to high swing, ball, hand-eye coordination, ball tracking, and moving to the ball. Some of these kids are not going to be really great at moving, and they're not going to be great at tracking the ball. Okay, 10. You guys got the gold medal right here. Okay, everyone, hold up. Guys, just put the ball in your pocket. Um, so, so we're going to play some points. So, you know, you two gentlemen, you're going to stay right there. We have you come on uh, right where this lady is. And this lady is going to stand right here. Oops, okay. And you two guys, I'm going to have you guys on those two french fries. You two gentlemen are going to be in line after them. Okay, yeah, off the court, off the court. All right, so we're going to play elephant ball, king and queen of the court. We'll say these guys are the kings, these gentlemen are the challengers, and we'll just play points to one, we'll play games to one so it goes quick. The court is going to be the mini, but extended into the doubles, okay? And we'll just play for one. So we'll say you guys are the kings, do you have a ball? Give like, the challenger a ball, please. So we're going to let the challengers serve. You guys can serve from the middle of the service box, and we'll just play it out. Okay, so play to win. Go ahead, guys, play. One ball. Uh, just one double. I'm sorry, double. Yeah. Okay. So you got to catch it and throw it right away. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah. Go ahead. So you can't run with it. You got to throw it right away, just like in real tennis. You can't run with the ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys are out. And you guys come in. Okay, so now they're the kings. These ladies are the challengers. I have kind of a floating king side. If you win, that's the king side. Okay, challengers are going to serve. So you can do this in the gym, especially if it's girls, you know, girl season and it's cold. 
Um, I think it's a great warm up. And oh, a little too nice. All right, next challenger goes in. Challengers are going to serve. And we want to get that sideways, low to high motion, really intuitive and really reinforced. You're actually going to find some kids who have trouble with this movement. They have trouble with that shoulder turn trunk rotation. Uh, and we want it to be really, really obvious because you guys know this shot, right? I call this the cycle forehand. It's kind of engrossed in the game. That's good. Um, so we want this to be really obvious to them because if you just give them a racket, this is going to be the obvious thing. I call it the cycle forehand, like the booty cycle. So and there's a lot of tennis tactics that come into play, a lot of tennis skills, and we're just like simplifying the technique so they don't get overloaded and they can focus on kind of more fundamental techniques. Yeah, some mean elephant ball. Oh, that was kind of, that was that third night. We want some mean elephant ball. Detroit rules. Yeah, that's all right, all right. Good job, guys. You guys are the elephant stage. Congratulations. All right, let me get you guys back on the French fries. Uh, you can put a ball in your pocket. All right. So I'm going to have, um, I'm just going to park here again. Okay. And you guys on this side of the court, you can grab a racket. You guys know racket. All right, so I'm going to introduce the U.S. Open Ball Kit Toss. Do this kind of as much as you need to. This is part of teamwork. If I need to give my teammate a ball for them to serve, I need to be able to give them a nice, easy ball that they can catch. It's part of etiquette. If we're in a match and I need to give my opponent a ball, I need to, I need to do that in a nice way, in a way that doesn't waste a lot of time. So the perfect U.S. Open Ball Kit Toss would be a little overhead high. Back. And get to your partner the only one in the fight. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do first to ten US open ball kit toss. I shouldn't have told you guys to pick up rackets. But yeah, put your rackets down. And let's not put it by the net guys, because I don't know if my shirt's covered the somebody's slides on it. It's kind of dangerous down in the middle of course. Alright guys, go ahead. First to ten US open ball kit toss. Grab a ball. And this can be just a regular underhand toss. So we're going to do a lot of self-feeding. So we also want them to be able to feed each other so we can play uh, games and they're not kind of married to me having to feed a ball. They can feed themselves. So it might be just a hand feed. Okay, 10. Gold medal to these ladies. Good job, guys. Hang on to the balls. I'll tell you what, let's, let's get the ball to that side. And this side, grab a racket. So I'm going to introduce a lot of uh, shots this way, uh, top cap and catch, thank you, top cap and catch format. So I'm going to introduce a forehand. So now my partner is going to give me the U.S. Open ball kit top, but instead of tossing it to me, it's still going to be belly button height, but he's going to toss it to my strike zone. Okay, and I'm going to show him where my strike zone is, so we're going to have that conversation about where my strike zone is. And I'm trying to get it back to him the same way. One bounce, belly button, and Okay, good, good, good. All right, guys, so jump in. Let's do first to, uh, let's do first to five, guys. Normally, I'd do first to ten. And let's do, we're doing this non-dominant hand, guys. If your partner catches it on one bounce, that's when it counts. Two bounces doesn't count, and zero bounces doesn't count. Okay, we we'll call that five. Gold medal. So, yeah, hold the ball, guys. Okay, so, um, I could sometimes I'll do, give you a gold, a silver, and a bronze medal, or I'll say the gold medalists have to take one giant step backwards and keep going. And if you get 10 more, then you can get a gold and a silver medal. Um, it just kind of depends on how engaged they are. Um, so now what we would do is, obviously these guys get a turn with the racket, right? So, but we're not going to do that because I don't have a lot of time. So if you guys would get the racket, you would give them nice, perfect U.S. Open Ball get tosses, and you would do first team to 10.
And then after, hang on to that. After I do that, I would go right into match play. Like King and Queen of the Court, where we feed the, where we feed the challengers beforehand. So I would go right now like, in, into some matches, into point play. But just for time, I'm going to kind of skip ahead and I'll stick with this format. So I would introduce forehand this way. I would introduce backhand the exact same way. Um, once their level gets a little bit higher, then you can have both have rackets, and you can say first two to ten, uh, the feed doesn't count. If you drop the head doesn't count, it's got to be ten, count 